Okay, guys, so here we are with this bird that I want to find my knife here that um, I was discussing that it's Cornish Cross, and sometimes these guys, um, they don't make it. They have heart attacks and bad knees. So what do you do? Do you throw that bird away? No, we eat it here. There's nothing wrong with that bird other than it was just not gifted a great life. So what I want to show you guys is how we butcher after I've got this. And normally the wings would be on there. This is just an exception to the rule because I hand plucked without a plucker. Um, we go for the crop first. So what we do is a little slit right in here. And remember, it's a little different right now because I don't have the wings holding it. But you'll see, hopefully you can see in this video, there's the crop. So the crop is actually like a sticker. And it's very stuck. I'll see if I can get it out of here. It's a balloon. And this is usually when I teach the classes, the hardest part for people is to understand that they separate it. If you see how it's pulling away. Okay, I'll see if I can let you guys see. It's a balloon. See it there? And as I pull it more and more away from the breast and the uh, skin, there it is. Okay, so that's the first thing we want to get out. And that is an es esophagus right there. So, and we don't want this food, guys, to get all over everything. So I'm going to actually pull it over the sink because the crop's got the food in it. There it is, guys. Jiggly, jiggly. Boom. Get rid of that. Okay, now what you're going to see is, look, we're starting to look like a normal chicken. Yeah, there's some food in there. We'll clean that up and we'll get the rest of those feathers and we'll cut this neck off. But for now, now that we've gotten rid of the crop, what we're going to do is we're going to come around and we're going to do the butt. That's what I call it. So what we do is I gently pinch basically above the, the bottom here. Okay. And I'm trying not to cut deeply and get, there we go. I don't want to get the intestines. If you do your first time, it's okay. It does happen. Okay. So now we open it up a little more and you can see there's the inside. And what I commonly do, first thing, is I will take right near the butt here, and I will cut in between, gently with the tip. I'm cutting just in between the little butt bones. Okay, that's it. Boom. There we are. Okay, it's really simple, folks, and don't we don't have to be disgusted by it. This is nature, and this is how we feed ourselves and save money. So now what I what I do is I get my fingers in here and I'm trying to remove the organs from being attached to the interior. So you're going to reach in, okay, and I say kind of like a rake. You're going to rake on the top and you're going to rake on the bottom. You'll see they're not super attached. Get your hand in there and start pulling. Once you feel that you kind of lifted the organs away, you can give it a try and try and pull them out. Let's see if we get it all. Now the lungs are in the bottom of the ribs, guys. So that's the one thing that gets left the most. All right, here we go. Let's see what, if we can get it all. I think we got most of it. Anybody that's gone fishing, very familiar with this type of process. The difference is this is a bird, not a fish. Okay, and the lungs. So let me show you real quick, because this is where everybody, when I teach a class, the hardest to get the lung. And I can't really show you deep in that bird, but that's the lung. And it's really, if you can see in this dark cave, which you probably can't, it's in between these ribs. So you'll see it if you didn't get it because they're bright pink and you really want to get those out. Not only that, all of this can become extras for the dogs or whatever. You know, it's good treats. Okay, guys, I think we'll get all this out of the way and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, so last step. We're still attached, folks. Do you see? We're still attached. So all I do is come down here in between the pelvic bones and remove what is the butt. That's it. Okay. We're really clean now. I mean, she's cleaned out, or he. Whoops, sorry. Uh, beautiful looking meat. I can even show you what it's like to take this neck off. Let me give her a quick rinse. All right, guys. So there she is. Now let's go ahead and get this neck off. So for you, those of you that go, I don't want this neck, and get this esoph esophagus out of here too. You'll see a little piece of esophagus there. Um, 
to get the neck. And now these birds were not full size. I, I would imagine they probably had a heart attack because this is why I hate these Cornish. But they're a wonderful quick, quick growing breed is why we still do raise them. Okay, so the neck, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently score it with a knife first because it's between those breasts and I don't want to harm the breasts. Once I score it a little, I'm going to take my little shears, guys. I love these shears. Oh, here, let's get you perked up a little. Okay, uh, and basically I'm just going to go down in between the breasts here and cut that neck out. There it is. Now you're going to feel like you got something looks more like from the grocery store. The difference will be the nourishment is going to be magnified because uh, this was raised on organic feed free ranching. Despite that it didn't make it to full term, we never waste. God gives us blessings and we make sure to see that in every step of the way so we don't take advantage um, there's nothing worse than being a meat eater and you take advantage and you waste meat. To me, um, we shouldn't be eating meat if we can't take it very serious and feel the blessings that come from that. Okay, so kind of rough looking, but guys, what do you think? That looks like a gorgeous dinner, doesn't it? Okay, so next time you're scared of doing something with that chicken, try not to because you can have a delicious meal.